I love these earrings and I just want to wear them on every video. I mean, how cute are they? So cute. Hi, I'm Tanega Malinga and welcome to my therapy session. And in today's session, I want to talk about faith. I want to talk about God. I want to talk about Jesus Christ, my savior. I love that man. I love him so much. Like my mind could explode if it could okay i'm gonna stop doing that i love god i love god i love jesus christ i love the holy spirit i love the holy trinity i love believing you know that there's someone greater than me if like he's even a someone i mean god is so great we honestly can't even truly describe him and put him into one word you know he's that amazing but lately my relationship with him has not been so great i'm sure from his side like the relationship is great because he never leaves me you know forsakes me so he's still good he's still it's more like um uh, just like a one-sided relationship where he's totally being faithful and being trustworthy and loving just unconditionally and i'm up here i'm just like uh okay you know like it's i know it's rude i'm just like on the other end of the text where god is just like hey and i'm just like leaving him on red how rude right okay so I totally <laughs> went over and aboard with that analogy. Um, <clears throat> forgive me. Still recovering from the flu. So voice is still, throat is still a bit scratchy. Every time I want to say my throat, I say my voice. I don't know why. Um, so anyway, my relationship with God has been, you know, my side of the relationship has been... A bit shaky because uh, and this is like the first time i'm feeling like this feeling like i'm just like losing my faith you know like i've been through a lot of things in my life i'm 24 years old and i've been through a lot of things so i completely know life um i've been through a lot of things in my life and god has seen me through in every in everything that i've been through and in every circumstance or situation that i was going through that time i just i felt like my faith was always intact you know i had questions it was painful it was challenging it was super hard like any difficult situation um i felt like my faith you know we, we we're still tight, you know, my faith and I were still vibing and chilling. But this time, I feel like faith and I are not homies, you know, and like from the deepest parts of my soul. And from the deepest parts of my soul. I like God will always be my father. Jesus will always be my friend. The Holy Spirit will always be my comforter and my counselor. Like they've got me and i know that but this is where i'm at right now and you know i think growing up one of the misconceptions about christianity was that you're not supposed to doubt you're not supposed to be shaken you know in your belief in your faith but these things happen and this is where most of the time you actually grow you know you just have to be careful not to just end up just falling for the enemy's lies which is what I don't want to do in this current stage. You know, I don't want to fall for the enemy's lies. And he been whispering things to my ears. And I'm just like trying to shut my ears. But I'm not going <laughs> to make this video about him. Like we give him way too much credit. So me and Faith have not been chilling. Me and Faith haven't texted in a while. Me and Faith have not really been homies. It's just like, you know, that kind of breakup that no one, you know, where no one says, like, it's over. It just sort of, like, ends. And you're just, like, you're not sure if it's really over or not. I'm using way too many analogies and hand gestures in this video. So I'm just going to bring it down. So, yeah, I've just been feeling like, my faith has just been like 
a bit far away from me it's been it's been lower like super low if that if that makes sense if that's grammatically correct um <coughs> excuse me and i just i feel horrible you know i think um one of the worst things for your christians for your christian is to is to feel like this you know feel hopeless feel feel like your faith is not enough and but i know god is such a caring god you know like i have no no doubt you know when it comes to god i'm sure that like, even in this very moment even even in times when i have questions and doubts you know about like maybe my faith and christianity and how things are going in my life i i am still very certain that he still loves me and he's still rooting for me and he's still just like on my side i know that for sure without a shadow of a doubt if there's anything i do not doubt that is that yes and and that just goes to show you know like the kind of relationship that I've built, that I've built, is it belt right? I feel like I'm saying belt, like a belt. Wait, belt and belt, do they sound the exact same? Oh, I might have discovered something great here. Anyway, over with my Einstein moment. Um, yeah, I, I just wanted to share. I just wanted to say that that shows the kind of relationship that i have with god the fact that i still believe that is for me and he's still watching over me even though i'm going through the season of just being like well you know and i've been having a lot of questions for him and i find myself i'm just like god forgive me i'm sorry for asking you this but then i come back tomorrow i'm like you know god can we talk and then i just i come down i'm just like god i'm sorry i'm your child you are the father you know everything i shouldn't have said that so it's like it's a lot there's a lot happening right now in my life and i don't know when this season is gonna end i really hope it's soon preferably in the next hour you know that's that's just my preference but i do believe even in this very time in this very season of my life god is is actually revealing things to me and he's helping me grow you know and i'm gonna come out stronger you know from this and my faith is gonna be greater so me and faith are totally gonna be vibing totally gonna be vibing and we're gonna be the best of buddies. We're gonna be closer than ever. It's kind of like when you share something so deep and so, you'd be like so vulnerable and so intimate with like someone and then that relationship, it's just like, you know, deeper, stronger. So that's totally gonna be, that's totally gonna happen. I'm just, I'm all over the place, but I'm, I'm actually like really, really sad about this. And I'm trying to make the situation more lighter, but I am really, really sad that my faith is not as strong as it always is and it, as it used to be. <coughs> Something powerful Stephen Furtick actually said was that, um, I'm totally going to paraphrase this, but he said that when you grow, you have questions. And he mentioned that, you know, one of his children, the first question, you know, about Christianity and all that was that, you know, who made God? And I've also had that question. I'm sure you've also had that question, like, who's God? Who made him? Where did he come from? And he said something so powerful that that's where we grow, like from asking questions. So it's not a bad thing to ask god questions i think maybe the manner of how we go about it and obviously this i think there's a line you're not supposed to cross but i don't think it's a bad thing to ask god questions and lately i've really been asking god some like serious questions it's not like i'm asking like why am i going through those questions i'm just like god like it's really deep questions like i don't not even sure if i should put it out there but one of the questions um if I can share, has been that, God, I feel like I have to work for my faith. I have to work for you, you know, like, so like to prove myself. And 
I feel like I have to prove myself over and over again. And so one of my question, one of the questions I've been having lately is like, God, why do I have to constantly work or prove myself to you? And I feel like that's a like serious deep question. And I think God is just in in like in works of answering that question for me and like increasing my faith and making my faith stronger. So I'm I'm not I'm not really um entirely feeling bad about asking God questions. I am feeling bad about how I feel like my faith is currently, but I just I really think from asking questions that's where growth comes in. This is just like literally and practically doing it in class, like asking a question when you don't understand something. If you don't ask the question, then you won't know what you're supposed to do or what was just said. So like in a practical sense, it makes sense to ask questions. And God is our father. Um, he doesn't mind answering our questions. He will do it in his own way. That I think that's just often the hard part for us to understand. But he doesn't mind answering questions. Yeah, that was all over the place. But I hope you're keeping your faith up. I hope you're doing everything necessary to build your relationship with God. I feel like it's definitely the most important thing you could ever do with your life. Build a relationship with God because he does lead us. He does guide us. He does... He does show us the way and why he put us here because he's the only one who knows why we are here and what we are meant to do here. And my voice is going lower and lower and so I'm just going to end this video right here. Bye.